In 1999, Kosovo Albanians put over 300 hostages in trucks and transported them across the border to northern Albania, where their organs were taken out and sold. This is just one of the shocking revelations to come out in the new book by Carla Del Ponte, former chief prosecutor at the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. In 416 pages, Del Ponte reveals for the first time that before killing Serbs and members of other ethnic communities, Kosovo Albanians removed their vital organs and sold them for transplant. The news has devastated Slobodanka Kristic. For 10 years, she's been retaking her son's last steps, but her search has brought her nowhere. He and his friend were walking home when they disappeared. They were last seen at a concentration camp on the Kosovo Albanian border. After I heard what she said in her book, I felt in one second I was about to have a heart attack. Now I understand that somebody under the protection of Western superpowers took my son and his friend, cut them into pieces and sold them. Until today, I didn't want to believe this is what happened. But after this book, I need to think how I'm going to survive the rest of my life. According to Del Ponte, the kidnapped serves were given a medical test. Those who passed were treated well, fed and looked after until they were brought under the surgeon's knife. From several concentration camps in Kosovo, they were then transferred to cities in the north of Albania. Their body parts were later flown to Europe. General Mamir Stajanovic was head of the intelligence service of the Serbian army during the war. There's no doubt that the facts that Ponte talks about in her book will sooner or later be proven. The places she mentions as hidden operation rooms are in exactly the same location as the camps of used for training their soldiers. Here in the north operated the biggest terrorist group of the Kosovo Liberation Army. In these hospitals they decided amongst themselves what each commander of the KLA would achieve the Prime Minister was among them. Danica Marinkovic is a former judge of Pristina Court and was one of the first to enter the Krečka concentration camp which was found by Serbian police in August 1998. What I saw was the biggest nightmare. No human mind can understand what I saw there. From the distance before we came closer, we heard screams and saw smoke coming out of the building. There are more than 2,000 names in the list of Russian Serb family members. Simon Spasic is the leader of this organization. He shows us the pictures of body parts he filmed in 2003. Right after the war, when we understood that too many people had disappeared, I went to the four commanders and asked them, where were the people? And they just shrugged their shoulders. Only after they saw Serbian people demonstrating and were afraid of their anger, they took me to some place. I cannot explain what I saw there. It was a small mountain of pieces of bodies, and the first thing I saw was a baby who had been taken from his mother's stomach lying there. It was impossible to see. It was a massive grave they dug before. Today I know in this massive grave were 26 uh, bodies. Also, there was my brother Milos. Families who once had a small glimmer of hope of finding their loved ones are now planning to sue Del Ponte. They claim she withheld this information for years and in that way helps the criminals with their crime. Policy Russia Today. Uh...